Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Shadow of Mordor. You're here with Reynold Lefebvre, Drex Craven, as he's known on the internet by some. Hopefully by you. Yeah, you can pick whichever name you prefer. In any event, stop, let's watch me fail at stealth, huh? We got a dagger challenge here, and you know what that means. Time for me to be absolutely garbage with stealth. I am just not good at stealth gameplay at all. And they're asking me to try to not set off an alarm? Sorry. My alarm has only got one setting. On. I don't, I don't use no snooze. So they saw him die, but didn't see me. And now, they don't give a shit. Alright, whatever. I'm down. I'm down. All right, my only goal is to not set off the alarm. I think I can manage that. Even if I can't manage not to be seen, I can manage for the alarm to not get set off. I'm pretty sure archers can't set off the alarm, actually. You know, fine by me. Makes sense, they're up here. They're, they can't reach a... They can't reach a, a signal tower. All right, now I just need to figure out... Oh, sweet. Convenient! Pay no attention to the ranger swinging across the ropes. You didn't see shit. Hmm. This is how this is how parkour works, right? Just just climbing, you just go up. Whatever. These guys are shockingly good at watching each other. Normally they're not. I wonder what it's like being an archer. Standing around. Not being able to do much. Waiting for Talion to come kill you. The thing about being an archer is... You're the one who gets all the attention. Being off and alone and like that. Really don't stand a chance. But, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess there are certain situations where I'd probably never see or meet them. You know, probably not. But, you know, they can dream. Dream of me not showing up. That'd be a good dream, don't you think? Not being horrifically murderated. Alright, let's see if I can jump on this string. Rope, whatever. Looks pretty thin to me. Oh jeez. Good, good. You didn't hear shit. Shut your face. What's up, nerd? Ledge kills? I didn't get any of those. I may have forgot about the bonus objectives. Let's go avenge Commissar Dorf. He doesn't deserve what happened to him. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Don't mind me. Not just climbing up walls and jumping back down. That's the only time where the where the free running thing really gets in the way. It will happen more often than not. More often than I'd like to admit, where you're trying to run away, and because you just happen to be next to a wall, you keep trying to climb up. It's a real pain in the ass, quite frankly. And it will get you killed, or surrounded at the very least. What's up, nerd? Yo. You ain't getting away. Thank you. What can I say? I've got a soft spot for slaves. It's like they don't deserve it or something. Where's the artifact? Probably up on a higher level. Ugh. Is it just me or did everything get really quiet? Like, you know, eerily quiet. I guess, you know, being a ghost, neither alive nor truly dead, will have that effect. Oh! Hey, yo. I didn't see you there. With the perspective, I thought he was on a lower level. You know, playing Bastion for so long will do that to you. <laughs> Coded journal entry number one. Is that a dead bird? Is that a fucking dead bird? On my fucking letter? Or whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> it's fine. 
Vendetta. Nakra the Mountain. 12 power? Well, let's see if we can add to his kill count. And they're not stupid. We underestimated our enemies. They are forged for one purpose. To destroy the world of men. True facts, yo. Here's one little piece of contention that I always sort of get cranky about when it comes to this game. Er, er, no, get down. Grab this guy. Yes, grab him. Thank you. The Urukai don't get created until Saruman gets involved in things. At this point in the story, they're Brog the twin. Oh, funny. At this point in the story, there wouldn't be Urukai. They'd just be orcs. Not to say that orcs aren't dangerous. Orcs are really dangerous. They're big, strong, there's a shit ton of them, and oh my god, this guy is weak to everything. What doesn't kill this guy? Stealth, ranged attacks, combat finishers, he's afraid of Karagors. I guess he hates being burned in Grogs. Harder to kill. I doubt it. One arrow to the head. One shot, one kill. So to speak. Oh jeez, I gotta kill this guy in five minutes? We're free! Is that him? There he is. Oh wow. Okay. He's gonna be tough. Mainly because he has no weaknesses. Those are always the worst. How do we kill this guy? Uh, I slap him a lot. The tar causes just as much trouble at night as he does during the day. Uh, maybe I can sneak up on his companions. I think something just moved. Come on, come over here. Don't go anywhere ever again. Oh, let me, let me climb up the thing. I don't think anything was ever there. Great dialogue. Aw, oh, damn it. He's not immune to stealth. But he's not vulnerable to it either. Ooh, I'm actually intimidated. Oh, he does have a quick turn. I can get in one good hit before he turns around. Oh, Jesus! Bees! Yeah, I can summon a swarm of bees. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, were they not close enough to get attacked by the bees? That makes me sad. Get that hunter, get that hunter. It's all over about that crying. Oh, except for that. Damn, man. This guy hits like a truck. Walks like one, too. Talks like one, too. Oh yeah, look at that screaming face. You're already half dead. Killing you will be a mercy. Ah crap. I've got enough time to fight one of you. Not both. Woo Thank you for the prompt game. I love you. Gotcha! Oh, not good enough to kill him. Ah, they do damage each other. I underestimated this time. Oh, you bastard. One more shot. Gotcha! Woo! Oh, he just gave me a basic not so good rune. And I got slugged for it. Whatever, that's fine. The things I do for runes. I forget this guy regenerates health. And is therefore the worst. Maybe I could just keep doing this for a while. Now I can see why beating him in under five minutes was considered a challenge. Because this is going to be hard. Gotcha. 
Oh, his health regen is going to be frustrating. The only thing that can make this worse is if he wouldn't let me jump over him. Thankfully, that's not the case. Thank God. But Dorf, I can see why you had a problem. If you caught this guy in a bad situation, I can see why he'd kill you. And how. Probably by slapping you repeatedly. Or hitting you with a lucky charge. Gotcha. Life ends. When you fight really tough captains like this, you get treated to a little cinematic and a little quick time event to try to finish him off. Well, that was cool. Uh, all weapon damage increased by 78% while riding a monster. <laughs> well, I got some new runes. Well, none for that. I got some new bow runes. I'm down for that. That's that's okay. What do we got? What do we got? Recover one elf shot after firing the bow. All right. Looks like killing that torturer guy wasn't a total waste of my time. Patrol found footprints behind you. His, uh, intrusion was not entirely unwelcome. Where's the thing? There's some elf riding around here. Screw it. Minimap, tell me where the elf riding is. Tell me where the elf riding is, thing in the face mouth. Now, apparently it didn't stick. There we go. How about now? L let me see the thing. Oh, it's right next to me. <laughs> Hush. Hush, y'all. I have eyes. I don't have eyes. All right, that's two gog. Another vendetta opened up. Uga Kuga, the savage, avenged the death of Saint Sputnik. I'll go do that later. Right now, it's outcast time. Hirgon has a plan to draw the Black Captain's attention to Udun, but he's going to need more men to accomplish it. Free the outcasts. I might be able to pull that off. Maybe. Probably. I never lost doubt. I never had doubt. Never lost faith. I can do it. I can do it nine times. I might actually have to. Now that I think about it. Don't tell anyone that. Ah, uh, so this is where they hide. Far from the prying eyes of Uruks. Although it seems kind of like an obvious location. Maybe it's just because I have a mini-map and they don't. How, why does Talion have a mini-map anyway? This isn't Metal Gear Solid. He just knows he's got special wraith senses or something. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, spooky! We obtained some valuable information from this one. Before he lost his head. He's grown slow, I think. Wasting precious time. Wasting time? We've learned where they are keeping our blasting powder. What need of I of blasting powder? It's all part of the plan, my friend. Whatever leads us to the Black Hand is my only concern. So anxious to find the Black Hand. <sighs> and by all means, I will take you to him. Why do so many characters have stooped soldiers? Shoulders. Luck, the Uruks have yet to discover the secrets of the blasting powder. We will need to free my men to find out. Do you believe the blasting powder can draw out the Black Hand? I pray so. The enemy gathers at Uruks Hollow, where many of my men are enslaved. I pray Eren, too, is there. I will handle the Uruks. And perhaps we can take a more stealthy approach and incapacitate them by using their weakness. Grog. Have you ever heard of Hithless? It's toxic and is good for one thing, poisoning orcs. <laughs> Follow me. Sounds like fun. Oh, I'm suddenly I in control. At the Black Gate, I fell sick. It was Eren who nursed me to health. Is she the reason you joined the tribesmen? Of the many, she is my most cherished. There are only so many camps my wife could have been taken to. Do you believe she will be at this one? My heart says yes. Mm -hmm. I hope for your sake she is here, though. Aww. 
Talion isn't totally heartless. Great, uh, the blasting powder. That's another thing they stole from Saruman. These guys didn't invent blasting powder, he did, high in his tower of Orthunk. Being a wizard and all. I'll keep watch for Uruks. Be careful, Ranger. Right. You'll keep watch. Naturally. I wouldn't have anything to do with you not being in, not wanting to be in a fight with these guys, would it? No, of course not. <laughs> There's something fun about just fully tackling a, an orc like that. Very entertaining. Is this the herb? Good. He flops. Are there more than that one here? Let me check the ghost vision. What do the ghost eyes tell me? That slides run bloody quick. Only for a bit. Oh. Where's the last one? Ghost eyes. I got stanky old ghost eyes. Tell me the way. Tell me the way to the goddamn herb. I'm so lost. What the hell? What is it? That, oh, really? It's just right there? Right over the guy I killed. All the places. Got it. Although there was there more a plants ahead. Follow me. good portion I felt the fool. I do like how uh, we we end up gathering enough herbs through all this that it... Where did you acquire this blasting powder? Traded for it with a blustery dwarf. We took his powder and left him our footprints. Pretty fair, if you ask me. You are proving yourself to be a strong leader. For a deserter. That is only because I leave the hard work to men like you. Hmm. I'm never gonna climb the right It makes sense that after Talion has collected so many... So much of this Haragon herb that he never needs to go collect anymore. Sorry, I've got a hunting challenge for killing spiders. I wanna kill all the spiders. That's so wrong. No, 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 no. I like spiders. Some of my best friends are spiders, okay? I'm not spiderist. Weber is my favorite don't starve character. Just kidding. Uh, I think my favorite don't starve character is uh, uh, Wendy. Oh, I can never remember the, the Wendy and Willow. The, the one with the fire. What? Fire is my friend. In Mordor, even the flowers are of death. There are far worse things than flowers here. You know, orcs, Nazgul, fell beasts, Gollum, Sauron himself. All sorts of nasty stuff, really. Basically, Tolkien said, how many terrible things can I put into one area? And settled on all of them. I really like how a Karagor has just taken over this area. Oh, hey, bro. What up? Fuck down. Oh, I've got enough focus to just kill Karagors. I like it. Alright, is that enough for this? For these shenanigans? So, Hergon can't see me doing any of this. He doesn't see the ghost arrows. What does he see? Damn it. Damn it. Got it. Darkness descends upon Mordor. Soon it will be impossible not to succumb. Ooh. When we realized we couldn't fight the orcs, we started dressing up like slaves, sneaking into their camps to free the others. Clever. A bold strategy. Not really. Mostly we'd end up slaves ourselves. At least we came dressed for the part. Fair enough. When I was first rescued by the outcasts, they told me you led the search party for my head. <laughs> I volunteered. Were you caught, our fellow rangers would have killed you. I could not let you suffer that fate. A likely story, Talion. I'm not entirely convinced. Karak Angren. Huh. Never heard of it. Ooh, spooky. Ominous stonework. Right, right, out of elf shot. Right, right. 
<laughs> Just want to shoot spiders. Up here, we almost have enough poison for our purpose. Really? How I much look food? forward to seeing its effects up close. How much more could we possibly need? Also, looks like this episode's running long. Nah, screw it. Next time we see what we do with this poison. It's a cliffhanger! You get it? You get it? You, you get it? Cliffhanger!